Hi everyone, uh, we're Go API, and we're very excited to make this tutorial to show you how you can get started with Midjourney API. Uh, before we get started, uh, full disclosure, this is not an official API by Midjourney. Uh, our team is a group of Midjourney enthusiasts. We're very passionate about Midjourney, and we thought that this little neat API can really help a lot of people out there. Um, and that's why we built this to be incorporated into your existing workflow. So uh, to get started, if you go to goapi.ai uh, and click on the Midjourney API button, uh, this is the page that you should see. Uh, as you can see here, we also s uh, offer Stable Diffusion API as well, but that would be content for another video. Uh, if you click on the documentation button and Midjourney API, uh, you would be able to see the documentation that we have. And as you can see here, these are the list of endpoints that we offer. And here are different processing modes. So we have mixed mode and we also have fast mode. Uh, for us, mixed mode just means that your job will either be processed under relaxed or f fast mode in Midjourney, whereas fast mode just means that it will definitely be processed in fast mode. And here is a sample workflow explanation. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to use the Imagine endpoint and perform a successful fetch on the task submitted. All right, if you uh, go back to our Midjourney API website, uh, click on pricing and payment, you can see the pricing information we have for both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion API. For Midjourney API, um, each API call will cost seven credits. Uh, the approximate cost for each credit is listed here. So if you do the math, each API call will cost about one cent USD under the mix mode and about two cents USD under the fast mode. So if you do the calculation on how many pictures you use per month, you'd find that our pricing is actually uh, quite attractive. And uh, over here, um, you could we have an option for you to try our service for only a dollar. Uh, for the dollar, you get 200 credits. Uh, it's a great way to test the API and see if that fit into your existing workflow. And if you have made the $1 payment, uh, you are going to receive an automatic e email uh, looking like this with the API key corresponding to the payment amount you've made. Uh, keep it safe somewhere. We're going to need this a little later. So next, we are going to use uh, Postman to test out our Midjourney API service. Um, Postman, if you go to Google, uh, you can see there are an API platform for developers. Uh, you could use their desktop version, uh, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use their web version, uh, which has very similar interface to their desktop version. And uh, it looks something like this. So first, uh, I've already named my workspace to Go API Midjourney. And next, I'm going to click New, HTTP, and uh, go to our available endpoints, copy the one for Imagine, paste it here. Uh, because this is a post request, so I'm going to change this to post. And under params, there's nothing. Authorization, nothing. Under headers, as you can see, I'm going to type x-api-key in here. So dash key in here and then copy uh, the API key that we have received from the automatic payment email uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to use a API key 
uh, a test API key and then go back here go to the body um, we have Python node and curl code for you copy this paste it into the body uh, click raw first and get rid of the webhook endpoint the aspect ratio and now we can press send and uh, it has given us error looking for the beginning okay so I need to get rid of this comma try send again perfect its status is successful and it has returned us a task ID so now we need to create a new uh, post request for the fetch uh, copy the post request for fetch paste it in here change this to post nothing under param nothing under authorization uh, we actually don't need the API key for fetch under the headers either go to body click raw and copy the code for Python for fetch into here and change this task ID to the one that we have obtained from the previous endpoint press send and let's see okay so n now it says the status is finished so sometimes when you send the fetch request uh, the, the result may say pending or processing which just means that you have to wait for a bit and then send the fetch post request again now if you don't want to wait you could also use the uh, webhook function which will send you a message automatically after the task is completed is completed uh, we can cover how to use the webhook function in another tutorial uh, but for now uh, we're going to scroll down here as you can see there are two URLs for the images uh, both URLs are the same you could use either one uh, copy the URL paste it into a new tab and you should be able to see your picture and that's how you get started with Majorney API in just a few minutes with Go API. So thank you guys for watching. Press a like for this video. Subscribe to our channel for more Midjourney API related content. And have a great day.